They cost you hundreds of millions of dollars to buy, hundreds of millions more to maintain. Four second-hand submarines that have proven a nightmare for the Royal Canadian Navy. And tonight, one of those subs has a gaping hole in its nose. HMCS Cornerbrook ran aground last year. At the time, the Navy said the damage was minor. But now, new exclusive photos show a far different picture. Tom Murphy has the story for us tonight from Halifax. Tom. Peter, people knew HMCS Cornerbrook had been damaged at sea last summer, but now we can show you the extent of it. Exclusive pictures of a badly beaten up HMCS Cornerbrook make it clear the sub will not be going to sea anytime soon. Taken just last month, you can see Cornerbrook after it was lifted onto a dock, a gaping hole in its bow as if opened with a can opener. It's all shocking for this Liberal senator and former head of Canada's Senate Defence Committee. I was gobsmacked. I, I had no idea that this level of damage had occurred, and that may explain why the Navy took them out of the water at night. In 2003, HMCS Cornerbrook arrived in Canada to much fanfare. One of four used submarines Canada bought from the British. The sub has advanced instrumentation on board. Still, somehow, last June, the sub hit bottom, 45 meters below the surface, off the west coast of Vancouver Island, where it was on a training mission. There were 60 sailors on board at the time. Back then, the Navy said that Cornerbrook incurred damage to her bow and experienced minor leakage in a forward ballast tank. Today, the Navy said the pressure hull, which held the crew, was not damaged. But two sources familiar with the submarine now tell CBC News it may have been and wonder if the sub will ever go to sea again. Until this boat came out of the water... The Navy told water, CBC's and Power and Politics again, it's hiding nothing. Technology. When you're looking at your damaged car in the intersection and you can drive it home, you don't really know how badly damaged it is. So you're so saying you take, this is a fender bender? Well, it, 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 it is similar to a fender bender, yes. It just happens to be a very expensive piece of equipment but in an analogy, uh, that's what we're talking about. A Navy Board of Inquiry chalked the accident up to human error. The commanding officer has since been removed from command and reassigned to shore. And Cornerbrook? It was set for its extended maintenance when this accident happened. It could really be extended now. The Navy says it's making changes to its training program as a result of this accident, but this leaves Canada with just one operational submarine, despite all the taxpayer money invested in this program, Peter. All right, Tom, so how much have taxpayers invested? Well, I can tell you that the four Victoria-class submarines cost Canada $750 million. Now, it's not entirely clear how much has been spent on the program since then, although some estimates put the total bill for the submarines at $3 billion dollars and climbing. Of course, all of this has renewed calls for Canada to dump this submarine program. Peter. Tom Murphy in Halifax tonight. Thanks, Tom.